Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at the Parallax microcontroller, which is on board the flip module, which you can see here. So in the back is the microcontroller. It's their P1 version. The part number is P8X32A. Now this is a multi-core microcontroller. It has eight 32-bit microcontrollers on board, and they're called COGS, and they're labeled 0 to 7. Now it runs on 3.3 volts. It's clocked at 80 megahertz. And if you're into robotics applications and you're building a little robot, you'll probably have an ultrasonic range sensor or maybe a time of flight sensor for navigation, a servo motor, an H-bridge for motor drive control, a GPS, a LoRa radio module. Now for a single microcontroller, the code will be pretty complex. There'll be lots of interrupts. So by using a multi-core microcontroller, the code will be a lot simpler and easier to troubleshoot. Now you could build your own circuit using the Parallax Propeller microcontroller, the part number P8X32A-D40. So it comes in a 40 pin dip package which fits on a breadboard. So all you have to do is add a crystal, a serial EE prom, a push button switch, that's your reset, and an FTDI module so you can communicate with the propeller microcontroller. So I have a little program running. I have three LEDs. One is blinking fast, one is blinking slow, and the third one I control with the push button right here. Every time I press the push button, the LED comes on. So each one of these LEDs has its own cog, its own microcontroller. So the first one has its own microcontroller. The second LED is, is run on its own microcontroller and the third one is running on its own microcontroller. So I'm running three separate cogs. I was getting requests from, from viewers for simple code examples. So this is my simple code example. So I'm, I'm just showing how we were running uh, three LEDs with three cogs. Now a lot of people complain about just blinking the LED, they want to see a little bit more real world application. So I have some circuits that show some real world application using a multi-core multi microcontroller. So I have a little circuit set up here and I have some tasks running so I'll demonstrate it. So first of all I'll plug in, I'll plug in my servo power. You can see my servo running. So I have a bunch of tasks running. Now if you look at this LED here I'm sending a PWM signal to this LED and it's about 5% PWM. You can have a look at the scope. Now the pulse width modulated signal is only 5% so the LED is dimly lit. Now the next task we're going to look at is this LED here and it's controlled by my infrared controller. I have it mapped to the 1 button and the 0 button so if I press button number 1 LED comes on. If I press button number 0 the LED turns off. Now this is my infrared detector, so it's looking for a 30 kilohertz modulated infrared beam and it's using the NEC protocol, so the NEC protocol is running on the parallax propeller. So if I press button number 1, you can see the LED comes on, and if I press button 0, the LED goes out. Now the next task is my ping module, which is an ultrasonic distance measuring module. So if I bring an object, up to the ping module, you can see the four LEDs indicating the distance. So that's running continuously on the parallax propeller. Now the last is my servo, and it's running a little test program. So it's showing zero degrees, then 90, then 180. So all these tasks are running at the same time, independently, without any interrupts. Okay, here's a simple code example to blink the three LEDs on my breadboard using the Parallax Propeller. And it's written in Tachyon 4th. So we have three little programs that we're going to run. The first one is called Blink 0. So that means we're going to blink the LED on GPIO pin 0. And we start off with a begin, a gain loop. This is an infinite loop. The code will never come out of this loop. It's going to be continuously running. So it's going to start here. It's going to go all the way to a gain, stop, and it's going to go back to the beginning. So what we're going to run GPIO pin 0 is going to go high for 100 milliseconds. Then GPIO pin 0 is going to go low for 100 milliseconds. And it's going to do that over and over again. So we're going to blink the LED on GPIO pin 0. And that's going to be our fast blink. Next program is called blink 2. So that means we're going to blink the LED on GPIO pin 2. So again, we have a begin, a gain loop, continuous loop. But this time, GPIO pin 2 is going to go high for 1 second thousand milliseconds and it's going to go low on pin 2 for a thousand milliseconds and it's going to do that over and over again so we're going to blink the GPIO pin pin 2 connected up to the LED and that's going to be our slow blink 
And the last program is called Push Button 5. So that's when I press the push button, it's going to activate the LED. Same thing, we have a begin, again loop, continuous loop. It's going to monitor pin 5. Now that's connected up to the push button switch with a pull up. If it's, if it's high, that means there's no, nobody pressing the button. The LED will be off. And if somebody presses the button, it's going to turn on the LED. And this is, this is going to be run over and over again in this begin again loop. So these are the three programs. So now we have to assign these three programs to the COGS or the microcontrollers on the multi-core microcontroller. So we go down to the next stage. So there's our three programs. And we put in front of the code three run colon. That means it's going to run blink zero on COG three. Blink two will be run on COG four. And push button five will be run on COG five. So all we have to do is just put the number of the COG the microcontroller we want and the run and colon in front of our code and we'll assign it to that cog. Then I made a word called run all so it's, what, it's going to run blink 0, blink 2 and, and, and push button 5 so when I, when I run run all all my uh, three programs are going to run and my three LEDs will start blinking. Okay so that was my simple code example that was requested. So I, I made it as simple as possible, as the simplest I could think of so everybody could understand that code how we could run the three LEDs and the third one on the push button. So if you have a robotics application, you could take your code and split it up into tasks and you could focus on each task and run it on each microcontroller uh, separately without any interrupts. That will make your code a lot simpler and a lot easier to troubleshoot.